Tom. I want to do just a really quick update on the trash bag. Uh, if you remember last week, we put in a lot more cardboard and we actually did a pretty heavy feeding of scraps and stuff into the bag as well. So let's take a peek inside and see what it looks like this week. They're out the bat. I, I, one thing I do notice is I, I can see they've been crawling a little bit on the sides of the bag. Uh, I see castings up along the edge of the bag. So I'm not really sure the reasoning. It could have been weather and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure. Take a look underneath the bubble wrap. And we have worms all across the, the surface, especially along the edges. And what that normally tells me is when they're along the edges, it tends to be cooler along the edges of the bag. And uh, so I'm thinking that, you know, they might like the coolness. It might be a little bit warmer towards the center of the bag, but uh, I'm thinking they kind of like it on the outer edges because it's a little cooler. There might possibly be a little bit more oxygen in that area too that's, you know, coming through the fabric and stuff. So let's dig down inside here and just see uh, what's left of the food scraps and see what the cardboard looks like. Again, the worms are really mixed everywhere in here. They're nice and healthy. I mean, really big worms. Uh, these African night crawlers look fabulous. Now this is where some of the, oh, here was one of the oranges. I can smell that citrus right now. Those worms are definitely hanging out in this vicinity. <laughs> There are lots of African night crawlers there. And look at, I mean, look at how healthy these things are. These things are fat. They're liking it. A lemon. Let's dig down along this edge. Let's pull it back. But again, the worms are mixed throughout the cardboard pretty well, too. I mean, they're definitely working on all these carbon sources. Uh, there's definitely a concentration of them around these food scraps. But so far all I've found is that one chunk of orange. Let's see if I can find any more food scraps in here. I mean, everywhere there's a leftover orange, but pretty much the orange is gone. It's just the rind that's left. I feel something here. There's another orange. Now this orange wasn't touched too much. I'm not sure why. Uh, I don't see any of the other food scraps other than the oranges. Again, there's another little chunk of an orange, but... Oh, there's... something. A piece of celery stalk or broccoli or something, but... Really, all, all the food I gave them, I mean, there's, there's not much left at all, for sure. And again, you notice the uniformity uh, on how well these worms are spread throughout the bag. That's what really impresses me, is the fact that they're basically everywhere in the bag. They're not just in one spot, it's just like a uniform population throughout the bag. And again, I don't have any issues turning this bag up. I think actually that you really need to turn these bags up when you're doing such large pieces of cardboard and stuff, because I don't want this stuff piling up together and becoming anaerobic. So. I'm constantly pulling it apart, you know, mixing it up a little bit. And I'm going down probably 10 inches, I bet, at least. So, so far that's working. And if I see a big chunk like this, you know, break it up a little bit. Spread it apart. I mean, those worms are happy, that's for sure. Do this last corner. We'll call it a day. Another piece of whatever that is. It's not breaking down too fast. It's like a chunk of celery, I think. Again, here's a big chunk of cardboard that's all layered together. So I'm going to go ahead and break this apart a little bit. For it gets soil on all sides and. It doesn't go anaerobic at all in any little 
specific areas in the bag. So, that's about it. I mean, everything looks good. The worms are doing great. They still have some food left over. They have plenty of cardboard. So I think I'm just going to even this out a little bit and uh, put the bubble wrap on and we'll give it another week and take a look at it next week. Okay, so I pretty much evened it out, kind of leveled the top off. I'm just going to place that bubble wrap loosely over the top. We'll zip this thing up and we'll check on it next week. So that's all for today. This is Tom from Birmingham Bag. Until next time, ciao.